My last project I built an electric drift car. This next project I'm going to be building an electric boat using a skateboard motor. I'm going to try and make it compact so I can fit it in my car. It needs to hold a decent bit of charge, maybe 5-10 kilometers. Uh, I don't really know much about boats, but we'll see what I can do. So I'm going to start by finding the actual boat to do this with, and I've decided it's got to be a small rib boat. A rib is a rigid inflatable boat. Crucially, it's very light. It only weighs about 18 kilos when it's packed away. It's going to hold a couple of people, three people, say, maybe four if I'm lucky. So I need it to be quite cheap and something cost effective because maybe it'll sink, you know, who knows what will happen to it. But yeah, maybe it'll be fun. I've got my boat that I know I'm going to use. Now I'm going to design the actual outboard motor and the system with the propeller that's going to propel it. Uh, after a bit of research, I've found this type of motor called a mud motor. This is used for like swamp boats or boats that are used in the Everglade. Anywhere that's rubbish on top of the water and you don't want to get stuck in it basically. So I'm hopping straight into CAD here. Uh, I found this really great model of a boat that someone uploaded to uh, GrabCAD. So I've taken that and I basically modified it to make it a bit shorter so it's about the length of my boat. Uh, so it's scaled about right. Uh, next I'm going to start designing this outboard motor that I've sort of uh, come up with. So I'm going to have a long tube, and it's going to be an aluminium tube, preferably quite thin because I want this to be light. Bring in that aluminium tube and then I'm going to attach the propeller to the end just to give me an idea of how it's going to be laid out, what it's going to look like. Uh, and then I'm going to put some mounts on either end of the tube and they can sort of seal off water from getting in and out. The mount at the top will hold the motor in place. So down the middle of that tube, I'm going to have some bearings that allow that shaft to rotate without sort of flopping around and hitting the outside uh, of, that, of that tube. So I'm trying to keep this project quite simple. The only parts I've purchased for this are the propeller, uh, the tube, which is aluminium, the shaft, which is stainless steel because it won't rust, and the motor that goes on the top. I've also got a thumb throttle from an electric scooter, so I'm going to use that as an accelerator and see how that works in the final design. All those parts I purchased, I'm basically connecting them together with 3D printed parts. The 3D printed parts made up of TPU, which is sort of like a rubbery plastic. Um, and that's good because it doesn't wear as much. Uh, it can bend and shift around a tiny bit and it won't stress or crack. So I've got the outboard motor design coming together here. I'm going to go back to the design of the boat and I'm going to bring in the outboard motor and size it up and see how it fits. I've actually got that pivot design that I've added in there as well, which I'm going to attach onto the back of the boat. I'm just going to drill some holes through the back of the boat and then stick that on with some big bolts. Uh, it will pivot along some other big bolts as well. They'll be nice and thick so they don't break. And again, they'll be stainless steel because I don't want anything to rust on this boat because it's going to be getting very wet. Obviously, it's a boat. Um, And I've got that on there and it sort of looks like a boat, you know, to me it looks like it should work. We'll see, uh, but it looks pretty good, you know. Okay, so time for electronics, usually a nightmare. I've got these two homemade batteries which blew up straight away. Got some other electronics in there, speed controller, this cool switch and key and the voltage reader on there. And then if I turn that all on you can see the, the motor actually working and operating. I tested it in a bucket of water really just to see if the propeller would fall off. I was pretty sure it would. It's only held on by a small pin. It's actually built for a Toyota outboard motor. Uh, it seems to be working pretty well though, so I'm quite happy with that. The first test here, I'm blowing it up. It takes about two or three minutes to blow up, and here you can see it operating. So I actually managed to get a couple of miles per hour. Not that should be, sorry. Normally on my projects, a few things break on the first test, and then you upgrade them, make them a little bit better. But in this one, it's pretty much worked from the start. I'm just going to upgrade the batteries a bit, upgrade the speed controller and the motor and maybe make it a little bit faster. But apart from that, it seems to work pretty well and it's good fun. So yeah. Uh, here's some sped up footage, if you couldn't tell. Just doing some donuts, going up and down a stream in Leicester. One thing I am really happy about is this beer holder that I added. Uh, designed and 3D printed this and added it to the seat that came with the boat. It's great for putting your beer down when you're cruising at high speeds, when you're fixing your boat. The battery blew up on this first trip, uh, the second battery also blew up. But I've got a third battery for the new version, which I think is going to work pretty well. So in terms of costs for the project, the actual boat cost me £300, the motor cost me £40, the speed controller cost me £40, the batteries cost me £60, I probably spent about £40 to £50 on the other electronic parts and bolts and bearings and the metal to go into the outboard motor. 
So overall I spent somewhere between 500 and 600 pounds and I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, you're supposed to have a license and insurance for all of those places so, so let's just say that I did have those. So for the next version of the project I'm going to have bigger batteries, more power, it's going to go faster. Maybe we'll even have a hydrofoil. So let me know if you like this project guys. Uh, if you want to know any more technical details let me know in the comments and I can tell you all the mathematics and everything I worked out for the motors and stuff like that. And thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see more of my future projects. Thanks.